Hi everyone, here are the readings for this coming Sunday. This will be October the 23rd, 2022. And in our cycle of readings, this is proper 30 of year C. Today I'm going to be reading from the book of Joel and uh, the letter of Paul, the second letter of Paul to Timothy, and finally the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 18. A reading from Joel. Be glad, O people of Zion. Rejoice in the Most High, your God. For God has given you the autumn rains in righteousness. God sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains, as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and oil. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat until you are full and will praise the name of the Most High, your God, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Most High, your God, and that there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. And afterward, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old will dream dreams, your young will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my Spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Most High. And everyone who calls on the name of the Most High will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be deliverance, as the Most High has said, among the survivors whom the Most High calls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 4. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to have longed for his appearing. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to God's heavenly kingdom. To God be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To some who were confident in their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two people went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I give a tenth of all I get. 
but the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this one, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled. And those who humble themselves will be exalted. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.